Hi! Welcome to take two, actually take three, of RCE's Dollar Tree haul this month. Um, so, the first time I did this, it, we had to blank out, we had a problem with the camera. The second time I did this, my cameraman, John, who has been my on-camera assistant before, has been relegated to camera. However, when he was relegated to camera, he didn't record the entire haul. And you know me, I don't do it with edits, I don't do it with breaks, I just do the whole thing front to vending. So by the time I ended, he's like, oh, the screen's black. I'm like, because it went to sleep. And when I checked the, the chip, in fact, uh, the entire video had not recorded. So we're going to do this again. <laughs> um, this is a very exciting Dollar Tree haul for me. I found some things that I never expected to find, and I will come to that when I get there. But um, for now, I'm just going to start with a couple things that uh, I want to show you. Uh, I also do have a Dollarama haul that is on my chip that needs to be loaded, uploaded. I forgot about it. So I will do that when I finish this. But, so I want to start off with the Mr. Brown coffee. This is the cappuccino and there's also a Blue Mountain Blend. This is, $1.25 is not the best price for it, but it's one of the only places I've been able to find it where I live. So I got four of those. Um, I got these really nice Betty Crocker containers and they're like a nice big size so I could put like a meal for me and someone else in there and then this this was the exciting thing so I don't know if you follow the American and Canadian versions of um, Dollar Tree but the Americans had an increase in the crafter square for cricket supplies and I didn't know if we were going to have them where we were because I just hadn't seen them and I hadn't seen anyone's Canadian Dollar Tree haul <laughs> I didn't see anyone's Canadian Dollar Tree haul show them. So when I got to my Dollar Tree today, I was like, excuse me, do you know if you're going to expand the Crafter Tree line to include the vinyl? And she goes, oh, it's over there. She goes, I think it's all sold out. She goes, there might be a couple rolls left. And I was like, this is what happens when you don't go to Dollar, Emma, ev or Dollar Tree every week. You have to go every week. You miss things. But this is what I did end up getting. It's faux leather. It's lovely. It looks like faux leather. It's this big for $1.25, which you can't really go wrong with. I got a couple of colors. I got the white, which you saw. I have two blue, and as you can see, it's Crafter Square, so it's, you know, I got two blue, and then I got this lovely brown terracotta red color, which I think is going to look really nice, so I have to decide what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to be making coasters. That's something I'll try. And speaking of leather, this little pleather buddy here is a juncture, I'm not sure, it's called a tote bag, but I, I just think it'd be a good lunch bag. But this is $1.50. Now, if you don't know, in Canada, most of our prices are $1.25 instead of a dollar, which they are in the States. But now we're getting some things that are gonna be charged $1.50 for. So this is one of those things. Um, uh, this is another thing, it's $1.50, but it's still an excellent deal. Is the napkins I always get. You, he's putting on my purse. He's, he's wearing my purse. My cameraman is wearing my purse. He's a strange man. So this is $1.50, so I grabbed two of these because, as I have mentioned, in the first two times we went through this, I do prefer napkins to paper towels because I think, to be honest, I think it's less wasteful. Paper towels tend to be thick and absorbent, and if you just need something to wipe the corners of your mouth, you don't need that. All right, so again with the Tim Tams. They are so good. And I have like one and then I send them upstairs, but I still like to have that one. So I got the Tim Tams and those are double chocolate. Ooh. And I got this, which is bigger than my entire cat, but she needs a new Scoopy. So, it, and and like, I think this is just coming away life so much easier. There's two scoops and it's done. Um, I did mention this in the other video. I like to buy certain things at Dollar Store that are going to be disgusting and going to be need to be thrown out. I've had that I've had that same scoop since she was a kitten. So it's been three years. So I, I think I think it's reasonable to say she needs a new scoop. And I don't really want to spend ten dollars on that kitty litter scoop. I think that's oh. gonna do just fine. Oh this is good. And then I got oh this is three cents. I thought it was two. This is a candle making kit. And it's apple cinnamon, magnolia and apricot citrus. But I thought this would be a nice treat. If we, if I had some kids here, they could make a craft for their mom or something. I thought that would be kind of neat. And I wanted to show you guys, because I'm not sure if you've seen those uh, in other halls. I haven't seen them in any Canadian halls. And as far as candles go, this was just too cute to be believed. It says, let's avocado. 
and it's a little avocado <laughs> candle. He is so cute. I love him. I'm not allowed to burn candles because I'm not responsible with them, but I do like him. And then I got this, which is a bottle brush. And it, 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 I have a lot of really tall uh, water bottles. And it's really hard to get to the bottom. And I really like this little foam on the end of this one. I think it's great. Like, the brush part is is wonderful to clean the sides of your bottle. But the bottom can be a little trickier. And the bottle brushes generally don't get there. So this is, I really like this one. Um, I got a couple packs of combos. They're a little high in calories. But if you just want one or two and they're a good savory snack and instead of chips. Um, the box for the white leather. I got two things of uh, dowels, which I want to use to make lanterns, because I know that on the Cricut website and a couple other downloadable spaces, there is, um, there is lanterns that you can make that you need, like, dowels in the corners to hold it upright, but I have the big dowels, which are Crafter Square, and the little dowels, which are Craftwood Dowels Crafty Kids, K-R-A-F-T-Y Kids. So we'll see how those work. Um, I did get some elastics. Now these are really great elastics. If you're looking for elastics that are a little more heavy duty than generally that like bag of yellow or brown ones you get in the, the dollar store usually. These I found, I've never had one break on me. They're actually quite thick. I don't know if you can see. I hope it doesn't, doesn't go wonky when I'm looking at this. But they're quite thick. Even the thinner ones, even the longer ones are quite thick. So I, I do like those um, just to have around. Um, I got these, which just large, reusable gloves. We have a water filtration system that needs a new bulb, and you can't touch the bulb or else it'll crack. So I got gloves because I thought this is the perfect thing, right? Like, after we're done using it on the on the bulb, we can reuse them other places, like dyeing my incredibly weird hair. But if we don't need to, we can just hold on to them. So I got those. I just got these for the garage because ways are pretty good and it was a good price. I got this from Miss Booker. It's got a bell in it. She's gonna drive me insane. But it is a, it's a cute little fishy cat toy. And my cute little cat needs a toy. Um, I did get a couple more shirts. Just just two. These are $1.50 now as well. But again, where are you gonna get a shirt for $1.50? Um, this is an all style extra large. So it's a nice size. You got a model though. I'm not modeling it. <laughs> this one is huge, huge. I'm going to use it as a nightdress, actually. I'm going to make oh. something for me. It's, it's a 4X. So it's, it's very large. Very large. Not my favorite color, but again, it's going to be for sleepwear. Um, I got some Crafter Square drawstring bag to, to craft with. Thought that might be cute for a kid. Um, I grabbed some whiteout. Now this is Bic, which is a name brand. And I think it's actually a pretty good price. It's a mini whiteout, but um, I, I can't really go wrong for $1.25. Uh, again, more of these. You get two more of these. And then these are really neat. Now, I opened them up on the last video, so they are actually already open, but they didn't come that way. Um, and then I pulled out, they're called cover-ups. Now, I don't remember if you, know, if you remember these when they came out originally. Um, they weren't sweet fresh sure fresh they were like glade or something but it's just basically a little elastic band on the bottom of a, of a cap and it looks like a shower cap but it goes on the top of your bowl so the bugs and stuff don't get in it now this box for a dollar 25 is a 17 pieces four small seven medium six large so i mean that's awesome that's that i really am pleased with that and then um because as i've said i'm not allowed to use candles because I'm dangerous and not responsible. Um, so, but I have a, an oil burner that doesn't use, it just uses a plug. This, the light bulb heats up and dissolves the oil. This is Palo Santos Luminescent Fragrance Oil. Um, it smells lovely. It smells lovely. I really like the smell of that. I did get a vanilla one as well. Um, yeah, I did get a vanilla one as well because it's a little less overpowering can't even really smell it through the box, but the, the other one you really can smell. Um, this was something else that I found in the craft section. It's a glue pen. Now I have been working on paper crafts lately. 
Um, and my mother told me that this is the thing to get. She does a lot of paper crafting, makes a lot of cards. I usually do vinyl crafting, so it's all the same. And it's it's a it's a steep learning curve. Like both both me mediums take a very different uh, take to do. So my mom gives me tips on cards. I give her tips on vinyl. So this is what she told me to get. Now for the puppies, I got one of these, which is just black with red and white, and then I got this one for the very puppy. This is actually for a dog. He just thinks he's a puppy. And this one is, so the big dog's got the little, little whole plastic ones. Those are for the big dogs. This is for the puppy because he is destructive at best and a terror at worst. No, he's actually really sweet. They're going to love that. I hope they do. I hope they do. Um, then there was, I wanted to compare, um, Wily Wallaby Soft and Chewy Black Licorice and Rue's Real Australian Licorice. Um, 120 and 113. So this one actually does have more in it, but I don't know what the taste difference is going to be like. I've had these before. I've not had the Wily Wallaby before, but I've seen them and I just haven't picked them up. So I'm, I'm wondering how they're going to be. That's a pretty cool name too. <laughs> yes, it is. So that's, that's something I'm going to be trying. A couple of uh, butter chicken packs from VH1. They restocked them in my dollar store. And they seem to have a good date. So that's, you know, that's another one. Um, these I was really excited about. Mango Melon High C. I don't know if any of you are my age and you remember High C. But I loved High C. And this is singles to go. So I can throw a couple of these in my purse. Um, 10 calories per stick. So, I mean, that's a really good calorie efficient beverage and I love mango and I love melon so I can't see why I wouldn't like it and if it's really good I might actually choose to go back sometime this week and pick up a couple more because you know eight six for a dollar 25 that's pretty good eight drinks all you have to buy is water um got some olives I'm starting to realize I have too many olives but I really like <laughs> olives like I really like them on pizza and in tacos and like in Greek salad, I just, I just really like olives. <laughs> I have been known to eat just a can of olives. Um, these are, now I, I recognize this name, but I don't know where I recognize it from. If you recognize this name and can tell me where I know it from, I will be very happy. Um, but these are two chocolate bars. One is Napolitanier, I think. This one is milk. But um, they're a little melty because they were in the car a little longer than I anticipated, but I mean they're a good size for a dollar twenty-five. They're, they're a really decent size. Um, I grabbed just some slide slider seal sandwich bags because I like those. This was kind of cool actually. I've never seen Kleenex brand in the Dollar Tree before. I've seen them in Dollarama and they're usually like two to four bucks, but this was a dollar twenty-five and I was really pleased. I need a car. Uh, tissues for my car because I don't have a runny nose but everyone else does. So <laughs> I decided to get Kleenex for everyone else's drippy noses in my car. Um, this, it's got a little melty too, but these are gourmet fortune cookies. Oliver's candies. And this one is chocolate with like little streaks of mocha in it. And there's another one somewhere, which I'll find. And it had uh, like powdered sugar. And then I got this, which is this one's $1.50, you can see from the little tag in there. And you can see how deep it is. And I'm gonna be using it for breakfast souffles because I think, I, I don't wanna keep buying grocery, I don't wanna keep buying breakfast sandwiches when I go to work. It's ridiculous, I don't eat the whole thing. It's wasteful, it's expensive. So I wanna start making my own lunches. Um, more combos, I did mention that I had two of those packages. I had to replace this because I did throw out one because I left food in it too long. So I'm replacing it for my roommates, but it's a Betty Crocker. If you can tell, it's got the snap seals, so it holds n nice and tight, which is really great, which is why I didn't notice that the food that was in it was going bad because it was sealed so well. Oh, here's the, uh, the dusted version of the fortune cookie. And we're almost done. Uh, command strips, because you, you know I love to have those, um, just helping me organize my craft stuff. These are for my roommate, who is here helping me, John. Uh, he needs to be able to charge his phone in my car. So I got him uh, just this little simple 
plug set. So that's for him, for my car. Thank you. Uh, just Oreos, just a little pack of Oreos. Um, this was neat. So I don't know if you've ever watched the Tasty videos. They are very interesting. They have a lot of good recipes. And now Tasty is combining with Clubhouse to make spice blends. Now I'm not sure if this is something that's out of stock in stores, like if it didn't do well in stores, or if it's coming to stores. Like sometimes you can't really tell with Dollar Tree what's going to happen. But this is lemon, basil, thyme, and lemon zest. So I think it's going to be really good. And this is another one of the high C's. I did get two. This was really pretty. I thought it would look nice in my purse. It's a word search book, but it's not like a little elastic, so it doesn't flip open in your purse and bend and stuff. And it's got, like, if you look, you can see the peacock feathers on the top of the pages, which I think is really nice. I think it's a nice touch that they don't have to do. They could just have it very plain and we'd still buy it, but um, this is DIY cloth. So I'm going to try some practicing on some... Uh, some fabric stuff to practice on here because uh, for $1.25 I'd rather do that than you know find other you know cloths that I can use. Uh, this I liked and I wanted to show you. Um, I probably won't use it because I don't have any room for it but I thought you should see this. Um, it's the multi frame, the photo frame for multi pictures which I think is a really great price for this if you're just gonna put it up seasonally or even if you are gonna put it up you could even you know you could even maybe paint it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you would personalize it, but I'm pretty sure you can. I mean, you could put words down here. It's just a lovely frame for $1.25. And then that is almost it. We have photo string with lights, which I we had little clips in them. And that's just like a little twinkle light thing. And then one more white out. And that's it. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, thank you for being patient. I'm sure I went through this much faster than I did the first two times. <laughs> I hope you got everything. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like to tell me, go ahead and mention it in the comments. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. Um, other than that, you have a great day. Stay safe. Be healthy. Thank you.